What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. That's right, 1UZ in the tin top. We finally picked the motor we wanna run in this thing, and that would be the 1UZ. And it's in there, runs great. Just kidding, it's still the 4.3. But, I wanted to bring you guys in for a little bit of an update on where we're at on the tin top build. All right, guys, I wanted to rewind just for a second to give a huge shout out to our good friends, Daniel and Melissa. They recently took a trip down to Cali. We found one down there for a good deal, and they went out of their way to pick it up for me, and I'm super grateful for that. So thank you guys very much. Let me hold it. I want to be in charge. Okay. Good night, I want to be in charge. <laughs> so uh, come with me, and you'll see. A one UZ. So yeah, so this is what we are gonna be shoving into that tin top. I've taken some measurements and I might not have to modify the frame at all to fit it in there. But I was already planning on tubing out the front of the frame anyways, so if I do, oh well. Doesn't matter. So anyway. Super pumped about this. We're putting some V8 power and a Samurai, and uh, I've only seen in person one other V8 Samurai, and it had an LS in it, and uh, it also was a tin top, and that thing got down. So, if you wanna see that, you can go back to our video. It's an LB Run video. I will drop a link down in the description. Um, or a hyperlink, or however you do it on YouTube. You know, Denise, Denise will do that, okay? I won't do that. I don't do technical stuff. Denise does all the video editing, everything. I am just the prima donna. Yeah, so this is what we got. I'm super pumped on it. It's out of a 1996 uh, Lexus SC400. I said it had 96,000 original miles. Uh, the last tag I see for a timing belt was done at 92,000. Um, so, you know, I'm going to pop these covers off and I'm going to take a look and see how the belt looks, right? I'm going to look at it, see if it's worn at all or whatever. So if it's worn and you can see like the teeth on the outside of the belt, then it's time to replace it. So I've been told. I'm not a mechanic, so don't take any of my advice as like, yes, this means it's supposed to be the way that it is. Not a mechanic by trade. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'll do. Uh, also, as you can tell on this unit, it is a, uh, it has an AC pump. We're going to get rid of that. That is horsepower robbing garbage. Have to take the intake manifold off of it to, uh, get the wiring harness all the way out of it so we can send it to the dude so he can work his wizardry and send us back a beauty of a unit. Um, while we're, while we're doing that, while we got this off, we're going to take the starter, put a new starter in it because... Yeah, if you didn't know, the starter is underneath the intake manifold. So let me take you to the back of the motor. Starter. See where that bad boy is? Absolutely amazing, right? Since I got the intake manifold off, definitely gonna put a brand new one in there. There's probably nothing wrong with that one. I'll, I'm gonna, pro I'll probably bench test it and see if it engages. And if it does, great. I'll keep it on the freaking uh, bench with a set of intake manifold gasket so that I'm also going to go ahead and throw a water pump on it why not um, and then because you know your girl Denise is hella bougie so I'm probably going to put uh, billet aluminum pulleys on this thing uh, we're going to pimp it out you know she's going to put you know I don't want to give too much away uh, she's going to dress the engine up pretty nice um, this thing's going to be a gonna look pretty good for the first day until she hits you know LV and then it's brown and you can't tell what it is if you've been there you know what I'm talking about I'm gonna do my best to do uh, wheel wells and like you know keep it mud to the minimum from getting inside the engine bay but yeah no, no promises all right so a quick overview on our plan, by our plan, I mean my plan to make it stout, but also pretty cool. 
And Denise does have the final say on it. Ish. Um, she's probably gonna fuck, she's probably gonna delete that. Um, so anyway, so this is my this is like general overview on where this where I want the tin top to be, um, what the final build is. So obviously, one UZ. We're gonna run it with a uh, R150 F, and then um, trans transfer case. I'm hung up on transfer case right now. I have a Dana 300, but you know, flip kits are super expensive. Um, Northwest Fab, uh, Eco Box or a black box, um, preferably a black box in front of a uh, Ford 205 transfer case. Um, that would be super bulletproof. I think it would be ideal for Denise's lead foot. Um, so that's basically your drivetrain. Um, obviously, Adam's drive lines because are there any other drive lines? I didn't think so. We run in a leading arm and trailing arm suspension system on this bad boy. The wheelbase is gonna be between 112 and 115. Axles we're gonna be running on this thing are Ford Super Duty axles, uh, 05 and up. The ones that are running the, the bigger knuckles, bigger C's. Um, we're gonna be running those underneath this thing. Uh, gear ratio, probably 513, just to give her just a touch more wheel speed. Well, if you guys don't follow Interco, a tire or haven't heard uh, they just released a 45 inch sticky uh, super swamper and uh, I think that that would look pretty cool on the tin top underneath the tin top on the tin top under mounted well that sounds even worse <laughs> bolted to the bolted to a nice set of aluminum bead locks to the tin top I don't know, you guys tell me, what, what size tires should we run on this thing? I'm thinking 43 or bigger, 50's out of control, we're not trying to Dennis Anderson this thing, be a monster truck and stuff. Um, but yeah, my plan for this guy is to keep it super low. I don't want to go over 20 inch belly on this guy. I'm actually going to try to get it super low. Um, that's, that's Denise's toxic trait, she likes them low. so. I am going to do my very best to get this thing as low as possible and um, hopefully she enjoys dragging belly over everything. So I'm just kidding. Uh, no, we're going to get, we're going to keep it low, low, low center of gravity and I'm pretty pumped on it and I'm excited to bring you guys along on the journey. This will be my very first time doing a trailing arm or leading arm at period like the way it looks i like the way it works um and with probably how fast she's gonna be driving this thing um she's gonna need a, she's gonna need everything she can get suspension wise help wise so uh she plans on racing it you know at a couple local events and just having fun with it so um but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you haven't already subscribe so you can follow along on the journey of us building this thing. It's gonna be super rad, I promise you. There's only a couple cool tin tops around, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and say this is gonna be one of them. Catch you guys next time on Fake News Off-Road.